In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the SUVAT equations. Now, these are a set of equations that relate some different quantities. So we've got S for displacement, U for initial velocity, V for final velocity, A for acceleration, and T for time. And the symbols for each of these quantities spells out SUVAT, so that's where they get their name from. And the equations that we're going to look at today are, are these four equations. So they relate these different quantities together and they're useful in different situations and different examples. And so the first example we'll look at, a car travelling at 15 metres per second accelerates at a rate of 2 metres per second squared for 12 seconds. What's the final velocity? So we should write out what we know. We know that the initial velocity, u, is 15 metres per second. Acceleration, 2 metres per second time 12 seconds and we should also write down the thing that we want to find out so v the final velocity is the thing we're trying to work out now if we go back to our equations we can see that the equation that relates the four things that we're interested in is the first equation so we can bring that into our problem if we put in the values we can work out the answer okay another problem uh, a plane traveling at 220 meters per second accelerates at a rate of 25 meters per second squared over 400 meters. Uh, what's the final velocity? So again, really important to be methodical. Write down what you know, extract this information from the question, and also write down the thing you want to find out. Um, so again, looking at those equations and the things that we know, we can see that this equation relates those things together. So we can bring that in. If we square root both sides and put in the values, we can work out the answer. Final problem then, a bike travelling at 2 metres per second accelerates at a rate of 0 0.5 metres per second squared for 40 seconds. How far does the bike travel over this time? So again, extracting the variables that we know and identifying the one that we want to find out. Looking at our equations, we can see the one that we can use. So if we put the values in, we can get the distance of 480 metres. So that's been a video about using the SUVAT equation.